everything inside me. Hi everyone, how are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry if the narrator in the last two videos might bother you. I just want to make you more comfortable on this channel. For that, I need to try a few different narrators to find that comfort point. If neither of these make you comfortable, I'll stick with the previous narrator. Like always, today I'm going to discuss some topic that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past and more. I got this on Larry's Telegram channel. Please check the description to know more about his channels. I know that my video quality is far from good, but I hope the content is understandable. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by discussing this, but that's the whole point. This is proof that a small occult elite have a the history to fit their narrative. Anyway, I also have a Telegram channel. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel. The link is also in the description box below. So without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. The way of travel by flight. Our past seemed to be far more progressive and inventive. People seemed to be able to think outside the box for a period of time before the education or indoctrination system took over. Destroying creativity and out of the box thinking at such a young age was the key for control. I bet. If you wanted to fly off to the North Pole or Antarctica back then, it would be easier, as nobody could stop you. Our way of travel today is so rigid and boring. They want our planes to be the only way of flight. Was the Hindenburg destroyed on purpose to eradicate terror ships and to control means of travel? You decide. What is the ether? The ether is the ever-present field that connects all things. Yes, everything is connected. Every inch of the ether consists of infinite amount of free energy. This is the elite's greatest secret. If science were to reveal that the ether exists, it would destroy the entire foundation of mainstream atomism and particle science. Denying the ether would be like a fish, denying that it is surrounded by water. Anyway, mercury and gold played a major role in past technology. Why did they go around removing the mercury and bells at such speed, altering the antennas and replacing them with flagpoles instead? Was the grid a problem for them that they had to get us disconnected from it? What benefits could we get from the ether? I personally think food consumption was done for pleasure and not out of necessity when we were connected. Don't forget all these grand palaces didn't have a single toilet in them, but yet they had no problem plumbing their fountains. What do you think? The Hanning Coffins Creative humans have discovered many ways of burial over the millennia. We have built many elaborate tombs, but this fascinating burial tradition from Asia is almost unsurpassable, especially in Southwest China, but also in the Philippines and Indonesia. We find these Hanning coffins that seem to float in the air on the edge of a cliff. 
very often in a valley with a river running through it. The tradition of hanging coffins is found in central China, especially in the remote and almost inaccessible valley south of the Great Yangtze River, which flows from the foothills of the Himalayas to the east coast of China. The coffins stand in many different forms both in the caves and on the rocks. There is no clear evidence of how the coffins were hung there. Although scientists have often discussed it, these artifacts still remain a mystery. What do you think? These pictures were taken between 1880 and 1910. Most of these buildings were demolished or destroyed. The surviving buildings to this day look like they are from a forgotten past. We can create these buildings today, but most architects and engineers would be scratching their head as it would be too advanced for their box build degrees. There are buildings out there today that are known as sick buildings, which because of the design and place it was built, it causes people to feel unwell. Feng Shui is important to the Japanese, as the design materials light and colors used are very important in well-being of the individual. To me, it looks like this was known in the past by the controllers, and all this symmetry, frequency, light and ether was too healthy for us. What do you think? The Battle of Antarctica, also known as Operation High Jump, during which U.S. task forces went to Antarctica to destroy the remaining bases of the Fourth Reich and capture a new unique armament, flying saucers. However, on March 3, 1947, the squadron was attacked by the enemy and forced to flee. The expedition failed and the fleet of ships were badly damaged. In the German archives, Researchers found drawings of the Flying Saucer series with innovative electromagnetic gravity engines. In 1935, the Thule Society was looking for a location to test a new powerful armament. Some nations today may look like they are enemies, but they're all part of the same gang. Sure, agreements get broken and countries get invaded. Some agreements and treaties never break, like the North Pole and Antarctica Treaty. These nations do, however, agree on one thing. Keep the masses controlled and locked in the system. What do you think? We have spoken about giants many times through this channel. Here we can see an elephant hunt, depiction from 1578 by Jan van Eerstraat. We can tell that it's an adult elephant from the tusks. If the proportions are correct then, that would mean these are giant men who ride giant horses. What do you think? What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this. They have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end. I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.